Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Rita? <sighs> Cansada, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> tired. 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 Yes, tired. Tired. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. I can imagine. What's your schedule at work? What time uh -huh. do you start work and what time do you leave work? Eight, eh, no, seven thirty. Okay, seven thirty. Uh -huh. A.M. Okay. Behind, sí. Uh, no, two, two. From two, seven thirty a.m. to five p.m. to five p.m. Okay, then yeah, the whole day you are at work. Okay. Yes. It's a full-time job. Okay, good. But thank God you've got a job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You work. Yes, doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right now, um, as, a, as an English teacher, as an English oh. teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, there I am. Mm -hmm. And how come that you wanted to learn English, Rita? Um, me cuesta, ¿cómo se dice? How can I just say it? Um, porque me, me cuesta, no sé cómo decirlo. Because it's y... difficult. It's very difficult. Um, okay. Uh, the... Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> try, try. You, uh, you can do it. You can, you can. Uh, okay. Is... Gringa. <laughs> oh. In the United States. Oh, okay. Um, so you work at a um, U.S. company. Yes. He, um, visit the clients estadounidenses okay uh, u.s people yes u.s okay. people american people um yeah talking okay. the, the work okay yeah. but, but do you think i mean how do you feel when you speak with them and the time that you have to talk to them how do you feel? You feel afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why? Okay, I, I understand that that's the reason. Okay, that's the reason why you wanted to, to learn English. Okay, good, good. I'm happy that you are taking these classes. Thank you. I hope these uh, classes are useful for you, okay? Hello, Leslie, how are you? How are you doing, Leslie? Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm fine, teacher. Great, nice to hear that, nice to hear. Okay, I think everybody's ready to start. Yes, teacher. Okay, I see William here today. Welcome, William. We were missing you the whole week, the whole last week. We didn't see you, William. Okay, let's see. Sylvia, how are you today? Good, teacher. And you, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Perfect. Yes. I'm glad to know that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How's it going, William? How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Fine. Okay. Good evening and welcome to your class. Hello, Rosa, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Uh, very good. Excellent, excellent. Nice to hear that. Yeah, I see that Maria Fernandez is having trouble with the audio. Uh, yesterday, the, uh, uh, people from San Michael, 
people from okay. San Miguel were were disconnected because of uh, I think the power went out. So I I was sad for Maria Fernanda yesterday because I know she's very responsible and she loves okay. to be in the class. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, tomorrow closing, closure of streets tomorrow, they say. Possibly, possibly from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. So we've got to be careful with that and be aware. Mm -hmm. Let's be prepared and let's go. Uh, let's leave to, uh, I'm sorry, let's leave home early tomorrow. <laughs> they are saying on the WhatsApp groups. Okay. Yes. 4.30 okay. a.m. 4.30. Yeah, because they say that at 5, they are, clo they are doing the closings there. Closing. Okay. Right. Okay, guys, we are going to start taking the attendance. That's a must here. So we are going to take the attendance for today. And this is the first time we do it. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz is not here, but I know that she will. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez, not yet. Carlos Ernesto Rogel, not yet. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet. Uh, Beltrán de Cabrera, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, William Isaac Montoya, Carla here. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Present teacher. Okay, Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present teacher. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Wilfredo, okay, thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay, there we are. Okay, guys, today we are starting with something that we know how to do. But the first activity for today, just let me share the screen for you, is that I want to ask some questions, okay? Just let me, oh, let me move this thing. Okay, this is the question that I want to share with you today. This is just to start. What activities do you do at work? What activities do you do at work? For example, I could answer, I call clients every Monday morning. So what activities do you do at work, Leslie? Hello, William, I'm sorry, Leslie. Hello, William. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me, you have a question? I saw you raised your hand. Okay, let's continue, Leslie. Could you please answer this question? What activities do you do at, at work? I call clients every Monday morning. Okay, this is our answer here, right? I call clients every Monday morning. Now, let's see the other question is the same question but with a different answer this is just for an example okay what activities do you do at work rita what activities do you do at work 
Ay. Ay. Uh, entregar ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Ah? I send the food for church um, eh, adescos um, okay. ministries and school okay. public school Okay, so we could say, I prepare the deliveries. Is it okay? I prepare the deliveries. Is that okay? Or I no. take the food to the, um, to Adescos. Okay. Uh, it's full um, a granel en grano seco. Okay, so you, uh, but do you prepare that or you order that? Um, order that. Okay, I order the food. Here we are talking about amounts, packages, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and also, you. What else could you do? Um. Let's see. Amounts, packages. Boxes, um, kind samples. of. Okay. Kind of of foods. Correct. Yes. And also, you decide where this food is going to. Is that correct? Yes, Tisha. Then you can say, I decide um, where the food is going to, okay? So if you decide where the food is going to, it's the same if you say, I prepare the deliveries, okay? This sentence is the same as this one. Okay, to do it more simple. Okay. Okay. Just let me. Normalmente, cuando nosotros queremos hablar o decir o explicar algo en inglés, se han fijado que siempre que nos hacen una pregunta, se nos agolpan todas las cosas. ¿Y cómo la digo? ¿Y cómo la digo? Ay, ay, ay. Ok, volvamos al principio. Ok, siempre, siempre vámonos al principio. ¿Cuál es el principio? Por ejemplo, en español, cuando ustedes le preguntan algo, ¿qué arma usted? Arma una oración. Eso es lo más sencillo, que es una idea completa, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué es una oración? Cuando nosotros hacemos una respuesta. Ah, cuando vamos a explicar algo en una sola idea. Ah, nosotros usamos quién hace la acción y cuál es la acción. ¿Sí o no? Y después, ¿quién recibe esa acción? ¿Se han fijado que esa es la, es la metodología de todos los idiomas? Siempre toda la gente quiere saber quién, cómo y qué hace, cuándo lo hace, por qué lo hace, ¿sí o no? Entonces, vámonos a esas cosas básicas para que no se les, se les hace un nudo. No, ok. Aquí no, le están preguntando. <risa> Entonces, siempre, siempre vámonos a lo más simple, ¿ok? Siempre. Nunca tratemos de poner el vocabulario técnico de una sola vez porque no lo conocemos en inglés. Utilicemos el vocabulario que ya hemos aprendido. Por ejemplo, aquí en estos cursos que estamos es para que ustedes puedan desarrollarse en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, en su trabajo, ustedes tienen cosas que se llama jargon o que se llama una, es un lenguaje que solo entre ustedes se entienden, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, solo en su compañía se entiende, pero afuera de su compañía usted tiene que buscar una palabra que sea común para todos. Es igual en inglés, es igual, ¿ok? En inglés, por eso aprendemos frases para que podamos hacerlo más fácil y entendible para todos. 
igual que en español. Ok, dicho esto como una aclaración y para que no se sientan así como ah, trabados, ok, para decir lo que ustedes hacen en su compañía, uh, or what activities do you, I mean, you are doing every day in your companies and in your job position, maybe there are responsibilities that are not the same as another job position because they are in, they are in charge of doing something else. And maybe sometime you are going to explain, hey, that's not my responsibility. I don't have to do that. You have to do that because that's your responsibility. So let's go and check. Let's go and check. Let me erase this. Okay, I think Rita, this is very important for you. This is very important for you and for everyone, okay? And for everyone. Pero en realidad es muy propio del trabajo de Rita, ¿verdad? It's, it belongs to her responsibilities. Así que tome nota y siempre que le pregunten, always that someone asks, what are your activities and your work? Then you say this. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. If you want, memorize them. Okay, si usted gusta, hasta memorízeselos porque es lo que usted siempre va a decir. Okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome and my pleasure. So let's continue with this and let me go to the other. This is what I sent to you in the group. Okay. And this is what I want you to do. I need you to practice what activities you do in your work, okay? You are going to ask this question, what activities do you do at work? And you can use any of these activities you see here to answer, to answer to your classmate. Let's read them first and let's understand. If you have a question about the vocabulary in these activities, please let me know. So let's start. For example, I wake up. Do you sleep at work? Do you sleep at no, work? No, your, right. So this activity home. is not for our work. It's for our home. Okay, good. I get up. Mm, do you sleep at work? No, right. So that's for home. I live home. Ah, that's from home. Activity. So I get to work. Ah, here it starts. I get to work at, and then we say the time, right? I have breakfast. Sometimes we have breakfast at work and sometimes we, we have breakfast uh, at, our, uh, at our houses, right? So let's see, I open the store, I open the store. For example, if your company is not a store, what other word can we add here? Just let me get in because I... For example, if your company is not a store, what other place? The office. Yes, I opened the office. Good, good, good. Um, I opened the mm -hmm. building, right? I opened the building, I opened the store, I opened the office. Now, uh, let's see, I turn on the computer. That's another activity because sometimes the computers are, are already turned on because there is a department in charge of doing it. But in this case, it's my personal computer. So I turn my computer on. I turn on all the office appliances. What appliances do you think you can use in your office? Appliances. What appliances do you think you um, have in your office? Or what appliances do you have in your office? Yeah. Do you have a printer? Yeah. I have a printer. Mm -hmm. I... uh, for a cup here? I have... 
photocopia. What else do you have in your offices? Do you have TVs, cameras? Yeah. Preparation the the information. Information. You prepare the information. That's a very good activity. Excellent. So office appliances are all the um, electric um, electric uh, um, accessories stuff that we yeah accessories or machines that you use to in order to have your work done. So let's see. I turn on the air conditioner. Do you turn on the air conditioner, for example, in, in the, uh, well, I used to work in a university. So in that university, we were not able to touch anything about the air conditioners. And there was this apartment maintenance, they were in charge of doing that, maybe because of they wanted to um, a, maintain in good conditions this, um, these appliances, right? So. I turn on the air conditioner. Do you turn on your air conditioner in your offices? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I go to the warehouse. I go to the warehouse. Next one. Let's see. I check my email. I check my email. I call clients. I write reports. Okay, here we can say the same as uh, Rosa said. I prepare the information. Can you please read the other, um, the next one? Let's see. I'm going, to, I'm going to say the order. Rita, then Leslie, then Rosa. Okay, please read here, Rita. I organize meetings. Okay, I organize meetings. I organize meetings. I organize meetings. Okay, next one. I attend a meeting. Leslie, read it, please. I attend a meeting. Great. Next one, um, Rosa. I visit clients. I visit clients. I visit clients. Clients. Okay, yes. clients. Next one, Edward. I assist customers. I assist customers. I, I assist customers. Great. Next one, please, Elvia. I check my boss agenda. Okay, this is I check my boss's agenda. I check my boss's agenda. I check my boss's agenda. Excellent. William, please read the next one. I schedule appointments. I schedule, I schedule appointments. Okay, Wilfredo, next one. I answer the phone. Excellent. Maria Fernanda? I, I, am boys. Okay, I issue invoices. I issue invoices. Okay. Okay. Now, I make bank transfers. Next one, I store. Let's see. Sandra, please, this one. I store the product. Great. Next one, Fausto. I file the purchase order. Okay, next one, please, Walter. I don't know if it is possible with the audio. No, right. Walter, why don't you try? Um, I don't know if he can listen to me. I'm going to write a message, okay?
Okay, there you go. Are you okay, Walter? Can you hear us? Oh, no. Okay. I hope he could see it. Okay, let's continue, guys. Sylvia, please continue reading. I file the purchase orders. Okay, remember that this is in plural, right? So I file the purchase orders. Okay, excellent. Now let's see, Carla, please read the other one. I checked the deliveries. Okay, I checked the deliveries. I checked the, deli the, I checked deliveries. the deliveries. Excellent. Next one, please, Francisco. I scheduled the pickups. Okay, good. Do you know what this activity is? Pickups? Do you know what pickups is here? Do you have any idea? When you, when you, when you uh, uh, agarrar, tomar. Okay. What, what do you pick up from a company? I can order the products. Okay, good. Uh huh. The Packages. Planning of, the planning of the week or day or different orders to work. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Uh, this is when, for example, a customer wants to go to your store, your physical store, to pick up their product right, to pick up their product. Or maybe you are sending a package to another place, right? So you are sending that, someone has to come and pick it up for shipping it. So you schedule the pickups. You know, you said, for example, you may come at four to pick up all the packages and ship them, right? So next one. Teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. In my job, schedule. Schedule? We, um, in my company, there are a, there are a person in there church. There is. There is there is a person in church to a, a schedule okay. for the program to pro, to produce during the week, but. Um, we we know this position as a scheduler oh that's a good one okay a scheduler like a programador but yeah. uh in, in spanish dates. Asign, el que asigna. oh okay a scheduler. okay good 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 to know excellent so that person schedule the pickups and schedule the deliveries and schedule when the packages has to be done or prepared. Okay, good. Next one, let's read this, please, Fausto. This one. I cook breakfast. Okay, do you cook breakfast at work? Do you cook breakfast at work? If only, it isn't, uh -huh. only coffee and marriage and sap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. But for example, if it is a restaurant, yes, you cook breakfast, okay? Maybe you are the chef, okay, that's an activity that you may do at work. Okay, I cook breakfast. We don't, but uh, chef, 
yes, it's an activity for a chef. Or maybe cook breakfast is for the person in charge of the kitchen in some offices, right? Or maybe you go just to reheat the, the, the things that you get. I mean, you take your own food and you go and warm all the all the food that you are having. So yes, I bake cakes. I bake cakes. Do you bake cakes? Cakes. Bake cakes? Well, you, not in an office, but yes, in the restaurant, yes, in a pastry, you're, yes, in a bakery. If you are the chef or you are the person in the kitchen and the bakery, then you bake cakes. Okay. There you go. So now we have the activities here, and your work is ask to your partner what activities do they do and their job, okay? So we are gonna break out into groups and then we are going to practice this, okay? Cool. Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? Questions, do you have questions of what we are going to do before going to the groups? Talking about activities that we do in our job. Exactly. And the question is, what activities do what you activities? do at work? Okay. And remember that you are using the vocabulary that I gave you. Just for ideas. Okay. Well, just for ideas, but you can, uh, you can talk about what you actually do in your current job. Okay. So let me go ahead and... Hello, everyone. I can't hear you. <laughs> this is supposed for you to be talking about the activities that you do at your job, okay? So remember, I showed the question, what activities do you do, okay? What activities do you do at work? And then you can use the vocabulary I sent to the group, okay? I want to hear you guys. There you go. What activity do you do at war? At war? Um, uh, of of the list um i think um um i opened the store okay. 
is the Perdón, según la, el, la, perdón, según el, el, la foto que nos envió, ¿verdad? El listado de las activities. Ok, um, I think um, I open the store, I turn on the computer, I turn on the air conditioner, I go to the warehouse, I check my email and you <laughs> I open the store I I I assist customer assist assist customer I I tour the computer I grade the bar. Only that. Um, okay. Um, to I schedule appointments. I answer the phone. I make uh, bank transfers. Okay, uh, just remember that Maria Fernanda is right there. Ask Maria Fernanda too. Maria Fernanda, don't feel don't feel sad. They are going to <laughs> include you, okay? <laughs> so, sorry, I, I, I don't see in the, ah, okay, okay. the screen. <laughs> well, there you have Maria Fernanda, so you may ask. Go ahead. And you, Maria Fernanda? Okay. What activities do you do, okay? Okay, I turn on the computer. I turn on the air conditioner. I check my email. I write reports. I organize meetings. Um, check my boss agenda. Um, Only, only this. Okay. Okay, now you, Maria Fernanda, ask, ask uh, the question to Edward or to Carla. What activities do you do at work, uh, Carla? I check my email. I organize meetings. I I answer the phone. Okay. Okay, continue practicing with your real activities, okay? I'm going to leave the room and see you there, okay? Continue okay. with your real activities. Okay, teacher. Okay. Protocol. Yeah. Then me, me, me too. But only Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Not this Tuesday. day. This day. Uh, okay. You you make the protocol every day. Or only Tuesday you or Thursdays. Me only Thursday. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. In, I I give uh, I make this activity I do this activity only um, every week and on, uh, one only once 
only teacher. How do you say una semana si una no? I don't remember, okay. but <laughs> once week. Once week. Uh -huh. Once a week. Okay. Is is that what you want to say? Uh, again, again, again. Let's go back. Yeah. You want to say? Una, eh, una semana sí, una no. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Okay. A co-worker uh, co co told me como se, eh, if I went to say uh -huh. una sí, una no, but it, it is like a caliche in, in English. Oh, really? Well, I, I don't remember yeah. at this moment, but you could say in the formal English, you could say I do it one week um, and the next one, I do not. Okay, this is formal Eng English, right? Formal English. Uh, I'm going to find out that um, that um, phrase or hello, <laughs> but I, I at the moment I, I don't I, I don't have it. Okay but I will look it up for you, okay? Okay, Rita, then I I go to the production floor and I have to turn off the, turn, turn, turn on the computer and check my attendance and my unit, uh, production unit. If I need to cover one associate or an operaria, an operator, and I ask for help to the, a co-worker, I told them if they can help me to cover and uh, uh, when a people miss a teacher, it is it is correct say that when people is missing. Yeah. Yes. You? Didn't okay. attend. Didn't attend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then and. Um, 7, 7 a.m. I have to make a report, a production report, and I have to send it to my boss and another another bosses in the company to to in this report they can check the production the before day. And then we have to check the production every two hours during the day. Okay. But, and then we have to check the quality, the production, the different activities into the unit, the production unit. Okay. Okay, I was checking also, and yeah, now it comes up too, and the, the phrase is like this, every other weekend, uh, every other week. Okay, every other week. Every other week. Yeah, every other week. Ah, yeah, yes, yes. Just <laughs> yeah, last, every other Friday, a co-worker minister, yeah, she told me, no, uh, every, uh, uh, what? every Sorry, other said, week. Every other week. Every other week. Yeah, it means that to... you do something one week and the other week you don't. Then you say every other week. Yeah, she told me I'm going to go to gym, but uh, every other week. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. so she told me in Spanish. Uh, okay. But, okay, good. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave the room and you continue, please. You are doing okay. a great job. There you go. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, teacher. See you. Una chica y arma la ruta. Ok. Yes. Schedule the route. The deliveries or the pickups. Oh, Fausto, you got frozen. Hello, Silvia. How is it going? Hello. Good. Okay. Uh huh. This student speaking Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Let's try to use our vocabulary. Okay. Let's try to use as much as we can. I sent you some uh, 
for, uh, some activities for you to get an idea. So you can get ideas from there and apply them to your real job. Okay. okay. Got it? I, I want I, to hear I'm you guys. Uh huh. Um, uh, what is uh, in English? Departamento uh, de despacho. Five. The uh, okay. Human resources. Human resources is the department, and maybe the unit could be for uh, to fire personnel. Uh, in your place, uh, uh, there are um, uh -huh. department and you have a department in, in charge of firing people. Encargado de, de, de enviar los pedidos. Ah, okay. Uh, people in charge of uh, sending the products or the uh, the orders, you could also say to fill up the, or to follow, follow up the customer. The uh, delivery department. Okay, yes, the de deliveries. Yes, the deliveries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it yes, could be. And, uh, Send the uh, purchase a uh, different uh, business. Okay, well, in this case, uh, we'll see like this. Um, department, I'm sorry, department in charge, in charge of doing the deliveries, the deliveries. And also, and also deliveries could be products, orders, okay, uh, clients, orders. You got it? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The client's orders or the purchase orders, uh, but also follow up the purchase orders. Follow up means take care, take care of everything involved in a purchase. Uh, so, for example, uh, the buyer submitted the order. And then there is a department who prepares all the product and for it to be ready for the delivery department, okay? So the department in charge of taking this product to the destination, uh, that could be the deliveries department. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. And do you work in that? Do you prepare those um, those follow ups? What do you do? Uh, in my case, uh, uh, I I am in uh, the warehouse. Oh, so you work at the warehouse. So in the warehouse, you yeah. have to prepare the product and then send it to the clients' place. Yes, uh, in my case, I prepare, uh, I check, mm -hmm. and uh, pick up uh, department, uh, department delivery. Um, uh, so the delivery department goes to your warehouse or to, or to the place where you have the products prepared. Yeah, that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I prepared the product and I schedule the pickups and then the department in charge of the deliveries comes and pick up the packages. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to hear you saying that, please. Again, yes. 
Silvia, yes. do you want to hear right. Fausto uh, saying that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you, please ask, that. <laughs> can you please ask? Can you please ask Fausto me. the activity? I mean, the the question that we saw. Mm. Ask the question. What, what do you do in your workplace? Ah. <laughs> what activities do you, do you do in your workplace? Uh, my play, uh, they uh, play for the summer. Uh, I check in the check, uh, and I also go uh, sometimes uh, send, send the email. Okay. And, um, I don't remember. No, but you did it good. But you did it good. You did it good. You got the ideas and it is correct. You did it good. Okay. So now I'm going to leave the room and I go to another group. Okay. Continue, please, doing the activity. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay, people, it's time to take the attendance again. Uh, let's see if everyone is here. Um, okay, let's wait just for a moment. Okay, let's see. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Qué temprano. Carlos oh. Ernesto Rogel. <laughs> Edora de Mirno Yola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Eduardo. Ok. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Ok. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz, Present. ok, Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, William Isaac Montoya Avila. Okay, he got disconnected. There we go. Okay, let's continue, guys. Why did we do this activity? Ah, because we need to remember the present tense to go to the next topic. Okay, let's go to our manuals. I'm going to share the screen with you. And you will see in your manuals some activities that a customer service representative um, do in their job. And what does a customer 
ask or what does a customer do in your company or in a company? So let's see, let's see here. First of all, we are going to read the activities. Then you are going to repeat after me. First, I'm going to read, then you repeat, correct? You activate your audio and repeat after me. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Understand. Understand. Explain. Explain. Complain. Complain. Help. 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 Request information. Get prizes. Get prizes. Provide one's information. Again, provide one's information. Provide information. Assist. Assist. Buy. Buy. Hold. Oh, oh, oh. Receive. Receive. Again, assist. Assist. By. By. Call. 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 Receive. 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 Okay, Receive. now let's see. We have a, an activity here to do. We have to list the activities that a customer do and we have to make a list of the activities that a company's representative does, okay? So what does a customer do and what does a company's representative do too? So let's see, let's see, it's your turn guys. Activate your audio please and tell me, what do you think a customer does in the company? Um. I think um, call. Call, okay. Call. Mm -hmm. What else? Ask for information. This thing. Okay, in this case, we can say request information, right? Request information. Good. Mm -hmm. Next one. Bye. Okay. Bye. Assist. Excuse me? Assist. Assist. Um, here is not the meaning as in Spanish, okay? This assist is to help, okay, to help or to in Spanish we could say atender, okay, assist. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. I think assist is a company's representative, the one who do who does who does that activity, right? So in this case, let's write it here. There you go. Get, get prices. Okay. Get prices. Who gets the prices? The company. Um, okay, but when they request the information, okay. So get prices here is to provide right to provide to go and do the inquiry of a negotiation or something so let's say that a customer get prizes too okay but in this case for real is the customer i mean the company's representative activity because he goes to uh do the negotiation right and he knows he knows uh, the just or the right price. Okay. Let's see another one for the customer. 
I think uh, complain. receive. Complain. Okay, complain and receive. Mm -hmm. Understand. Excuse me? Understand. Understand. Who understands? Customer. The customer understand? Okay. Understand. Uh -huh. What other what other Teacher. activity do you think? Uh -huh. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, Edward? Um sorry. Um I think that understand is the company's representative. Okay, when someone complains, right? Yes, you're right, you're right. But what do you think about a customer? Does a customer have to understand something? Understand the information. Okay, good, understand the information. Good, good. Mm, let's see, let's do the list first and then we, um, we are going to choose which ones are correct and which ones are not, okay? There we go. So let's continue with the company's representative activities. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone. Okay, pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. What else? Give information. Give information or Okay, give. Mm -hmm. That's not in our list, right? We could say, okay, explain. Uh huh. What else? Give information here could be help. Is that correct? Yeah. Help. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Provide, provide one's information, teacher. Okay, but in this case, it provide. Like, it is like uh, when, for example, if the customer need request information, the company representative needs to provide some information, for example. Once information, well, but in this case, you know what? Provide once information refers to your personal information, okay? Mm -hmm. To your personal uh, billing address or uh, credit card number, or maybe the date that you bought the product. So once information, it's really, uh, it's referring for sure to personal information, okay? okay. So I think good. that's an activity Costume. for the customer. Yes, correct. So let's take this one to the customer. And let's say provide one's information. Okay, oops. One's information. Mm-hmm. So what do you think uh, is another activity that we are missing here, uh, that we are missing from the company's representative? What do you think? Assist, get prizes, pick up the phone, explain, help. What else? I think here it is understand, right? Uh, is that correct? The company's representative has to understand for sure what is the problem or what does the customer want, okay? Okay. So now let's... Uh, check this list 
the customer calls, right? The customer provides uh, his or her information. He requests information. He buys product. He, uh, do you think get prices? Not really, right? Not really in this case, but we can say it in a different point of view, in a different point of view. He's requesting the information of the prices, okay? Now, let's see. I want opinions now. Okay, take note of this because I'm going to erase, guys. You got it? Wait, please. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm going to print it and let's do this. Maybe we can do it here. And I will send it maybe here. No, it doesn't paste. It doesn't paste images. Okay. Okay. Ready for okay. the next. Okay, everybody ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start erasing here. Okay, and I need your opinions in these two next questions. Down there in the activity number three, in this page, it says, choose the department where you're working in a friend, to prisons, explain to a partner what activities you do there. We did it already, okay? We did that activity. Now, let me ask you a question. What kind of calls do you receive in your work? What kind of calls do you receive in your work? Okay, let me ask this in a different way. Do you receive customer calls? Repeat the, the question, please. Okay, do you receive customer calls? Yes. Okay, and Jelly receives, yes. okay. Okay, and let's see somebody else. Who of you receive um, customers' calls? Now, let's say, do you receive clients' calls? Clients' calls? Do you receive clients' calls? What is the difference, teacher? Okay, the difference could be that maybe they are not buying a product, but they are receiving a service or they are similar. They are similar. But in this case, maybe they are doing a negotiation, for example, then you don't call them customer, you call them clients. Okay, or maybe they are mm, the only uh, company that you work for, okay? That's a client too. And it's not really a customer because they are not consuming your product. You are not offering a product. You are offering a service, for example, okay? okay. So okay. kind of the difference, but it, in some occasions you can use them either way, client or customers. But in um, finances and business English, Client is kind of different of customer, but just a little bit, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. So let's see, let's see. When you are a customer, uh, because only Angeli receives uh, these kind of calls, okay? I'm going to ask Angeli first, and then we are going to ask you guys as customers, okay? But first as a worker. What do customers call for? Angeli, what do customers call for? 
uh, when when the customer uh, want the information about motorcycle. Okay. Uh, about the motorcycles. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Imagine that this customer already bought this motorcycle. Why do you think they may call? Can you repeat, please? Imagine, imagine that a customer bought a motorcycle. Okay. This customer had the motorcycle already. And why do you think this customer could uh, call you referring to this motorcycle that he bought? Um... I'm sorry, I know. I don't know. Okay, no problem. Uh, do you remember that yesterday we were talking about issues? Do you remember yes. issues, problems? So a customer may call for issues with yes. the motorcycle. A customer may call for extra charges, for example, extra charges. Okay, in their credit card, or maybe uh, someone is calling them, hey, you have to pay this installment and they already paid. So extra charges are issues and yes. those kind of things. But one of the reasons or the main, main reasons are for claim and complaints, correct? Claims and complaints. This is after purchase. Remember that before, during, and after purchase, they have issues, okay? So for okay. example, let's remember, let's remember the issues and uh, let's say this is the list. Just let me go there one moment. I have to erase first to go. First of all, can you tell me some issues that a customer might have when they buy a product? Anyone? When, uh, okay, mm -hmm. when sometimes we don't have the, the parts that the, the customers need. Okay, that's an issue, good. What other issue may might a customer have? Anybody? Ideas? About the warranty. About the warranty, good. Ask yes. for delivery date. Ask for information about the delivery of the food. Okay, good. What else? What do you think a customer might call to your company? You as a customer, why do you think it's possible you could make a call for? Requesting information because of issues, but I want to hear you guys. Hey, you were too silent today. Hey, everybody, at least scream out, ha! <laughs> <laughs> I see you are too silent today, okay? I want to hear you. Now, let's see. Let's go back to the manual. And let's read the last one. Let's see, Wilfredo, what do you think? Uh, well, 
Could you please tell us what was the last call you had about? What was the last call you had about in your job? It was about the result about the last week. Okay. My boss, my boss asked me, asked me about what happened. We we don't achieve the the goals. And okay. what happened about the quality quality, what we are going to do to to hold mantener teacher, how do you say in English? Maintain. Maintain or keep. Oh, okay. Keep mm -hmm. what we are going to do to keep the good quality to offer to all the customers. Okay. In the States. Okay. And good, my friend. It, Excellent. It was, it was interesting because we had to explain many things about the last week. Okay. Great. Rosa, what was your last call about? Yeah. Is uh, what the was called you have about sorry about gar uh, warranty? Okay, warranty. Okay, thank you, Rita. What was the last call you had about uh, the change? Uh, Date. Okay, for, change a date. Uh -huh. For food okay. delivery. Okay, so to change a delivery date. In this case, we can say this reschedule. Okay, it's equals to reschedule. There you go. Oh, okay. Reschedule a delivery date. Okay. Good? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. Walter, Walter Mauricio, what was the last call you had about? Oh, God. And um, um, delivery? And okay. they in the templates about the company delivery and templates. Yes. Okay. Good. So let's see. What was your last call you had about Edward? Uh, for to communicate a new procedure. Pro procedure. Procedimiento. Okay. To communicate a procedure. Pro a procedure, procedure. procedure. Okay. Procedure. Good. Now let's see, Elvia. What was the last call you had about? Um. Mm. Evolución. Okay, return. Ret returning a product. Okay. Um. Returning a product. Okay, great. Now let's see what was the last call. Um, Fausto had about. Fausto? Uh, today, uh, I call the um, offer. Their offer? Request information. Okay, requesting. Information. Okay. Information and prices. Different products. 
Okay, we have trouble with the line here, with the audio line. We couldn't hear you well, but I got that you had this last call requesting information. Someone was requesting information about something in your job. Uh, the different products. Okay, about uh, the different products. Okay, excellent. Now, Leslie, what was the last call you had about? Uh, new indication on cooperation. New indications. Uh huh. Of, of operation. Of operation. Is that good? Yes. Okay, good. New indications of operation. So in this case, we could also say new operation instructions or indications, okay? In this case, instructions. Good. It's the same thing, but in a different way, okay? There we go. Okay, guys, this is what we need to know in the present, okay? You do it every day, it doesn't change, okay? You do that day after day. What if, what if you want to tell someone what were the activities that you did yesterday, for example? You want to report to your boss things that didn't happen today and they don't happen weekly, but he wants to know that you did for sure something. Okay, then we use, let's go to the next page and let's see the uh, sentences the, that we are going to use, okay? To explain things that happened in the day before, for example. Okay, let's see. Let me go there. Page 30. Aha, uh -huh. this is the way to tell a story or to tell what you were doing in the past. Okay, remember things that we do, always do. We use present tense, but now we want to explain something that we did yesterday or the day before yesterday, or maybe the last month, or maybe the last year, okay? Then we use these verbs in a, in a, we say the actions in a different way, okay? So let's read here. The verb to be has a different way to be expressed, why? Because it's a special verb and we love that verb because it's very common, okay? <laughs> so we need to know how to use the, the verb to be in the past. So let's see, it was a great experience. It was a great experience, things in the past, okay? The agent was very helpful. The agent was very helpful. You were an, on our page. You were on our page. We were excited about service. We were excited about service. What do you see here? Do you see this word? Was. Do you see the, this other word? Where? Ah, but they are to be. Do you remember that in, a, in the present tense, let me do this annotation here. When I say it in the present tense is it is, okay? You are, okay? And we are, or let's say I, um, um, now let's see for the past tense. Instead of is, we use 
was. It was. Correct. Was. And instead of are, for something that we uh, that is happening in the past or it was in the past, so we use where, 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 where. where. What do you think we uh, use for M? Was. Okay, was. great. We use was. was. Okay, I was a teacher. I was in the kitchen in the afternoon. I was at school yesterday. I was, okay, yes, we use I was for the first person. So let's continue here. And let me uh, put this thing over here for you to take note. Remember that, that's very important. And this is a verb that we use everywhere, anywhere, and whenever, because it's the most common verb, right? It's the most useful verb. So we have to be aware of this. Now, let's continue, let's continue. Let's continue here and let me go to the other. I'm going to erase that. Okay. And let me go to the slide here. Okay, now this is with the pass of B, but now let's see that the other verbs or the other actions that we use, they change to when we want to say something that happened yesterday. For example, if I ask, what did you do yesterday? Uh, then you can use this way. What is the way? For example, I gave my account information. He called yesterday at night. The program worked well. They bought that product last week. Okay, now please see those that are bold. The words that are in bold letter. Do you see? Gave. Could you please repeat after me? Gave. Okay. Gave. Called. 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 Worked. 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 But, 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 okay, these are the verbs in past tense, okay, these are the verbs in past tense, what do you see here, do you see this verb, let me, let me select this thing, I cannot do that because it's an image. Okay, now let's see. Let's see this. This verb, cult, cult, cult. Do you see the ending oh. here? Do you see the ending here? E-D. E-D. E okay. Do you see here? It changes completely. It changes completely. So. These verbs that end with ed, they are called regular verbs because they don't change in their root. Okay, they have only an ending ed. Now let's see these other. Uh, is this irregular or is this regular? This is regular verb. Regular. It's a regular verb. What about this one? What do you think? Irregular. Regular verb. Irregular. irregular. Irregular, good. So let's remember that in the simple past, this is simple past, the regular verbs end with ed. They have ed at the end. That's the way to make the difference. And the irregular verbs, they change completely. Okay, they change completely. Now let me go here. And now let's see, now let's see. For example, 
we have these activities in the present tense. In the present tense, I sent you, uh, I, sh I shared a list of verbs in the group. You have it in the group, okay? So now let's try to say these activities in the past tense, okay? In the past tense. Can you help me with this, please? What will be the past tense of watch a movie? What did you do watch. last night? What did you do I last night? Uh huh. What? What? Uh huh. Watched. Watched. Okay. Watched a movie. A movie. Excellent. Now let's see. Ah, what happened here? Let me move this thing. Okay, this is the one that I want. Huh, what happened here? Um, I know, I know why. Because I have these <laughs> in two columns, in two columns, that is why. So I have to do a very big thing here. Okay, let's continue. Again, oh my God. Yeah, because that's in the other. Okay, let's say watched a movie. Let's say, I'm sorry guys, something happened and I don't know how to do it at the moment because I have. Okay, now let's talk about clean, clean up the kitchen. Clean up the kitchen. Hey. Clean it. Mm. Clean it. In the kitchen. Clean. Clean it up the kitchen. Okay, it has two words. Cleaned up. Cleaned, cleaned up the kitchen. Cleaned up. Yes, cleaned up. Okay, Francisco, no problem. There you go. Now. To practice English. Why did you study English? Why did you, oh, I'm sorry. Why did you visit London? Why did you visit London, for example? Ah, to practice English. Then I practiced, okay? Practiced English. Now, what about play football? What did you do play, uh, yesterday? Play football. Okay. Played. Okay. Play okay. Now work. Work late. Work, yeah. work mm -hmm. late. In the past tense. Work late. Work late. Work Okay. Worked. And what about invite? Invite mm. friends and family. Invite. Okay. Invite friends. Okay. These all all of these are regular or irregular verbs. What do you think? Mm, regular. Regular. Uh, regular regular verbs. verbs. Why? Why are they regular? Because you are ed at the end. Because they have ed at the end. It means that the root doesn't change. Okay, good. So let's go. And your list, there is a letter I right uh, next to the verb. And that letter I means irregular, okay? That letter I in the red color, means that that verb is irregular in the list that I share. So let's see. We are going to read the complete sentence here and you are going to repeat after me. 
I gave my account information. I gave, I gave my account information. information. I gave my account information. I gave my account information. He called yesterday at night. He called yesterday at night. The program worked well. The program worked well. They Okay, they bought, but I'm sorry, they bought that product last week. They, they bought, bought the product, product last, last week. week. Last, week. Last, week. last week. Okay. Last week. Mm -hmm. So we need to see also the past time expressions. Okay. These are past time expressions. Do you want to help me please saying some past tense expressions about time like last year? Okay, here we have last week, okay? And let's see, another, yesterday, okay? Last month. Excellent. Last month. Mm -hmm. Last weekend. Good. Last vacations. Good. Here in the in the manual, it says yesterday at night. Okay, yesterday at night. Last trip, teacher. Excuse me? Last trip. Last trip. Okay. Yesterday at night could be also last night. Okay. What's the opposite to last night? What is the opposite of last night? Tonight. Tonight. Tonight, last night. Okay. Last year, this year this is the year. opposite. Okay. This year, last year. This week, last week. Okay. Yesterday, today. What is the opposite? Today. But there are also there are also time frames during the same day. Okay. So let's remember the time expressions on Friday. Okay. Remember on Monday, on Tuesday, on etc. Saturday on. Remember on. Okay. At night. At night, in the afternoon, in the morning. Okay, remember these time expressions because we are going to use them when we want to tell a story or we want to explain something that happened yesterday or in a past occasion. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. I'm going to erase this. Did you take note already? These are time expressions. And past, okay? And past.
This is very important because it gives you the um, idea when the thing happened, right? Remember that someone wants to request information when did it happen, why did it happen, and where did it happen? And so we need to know these expressions too. Everybody okay? Did you finish? What is the word that we usually use for expressing ex expressing time in past? We use this word last. Last. Okay? Last. Last. Mm -hmm. So we can apply that uh, that word to uh, any occasion, for example, last Christmas, okay? Um, can you give me another example? And my last birthday celebration, okay? Last holiday. Last uh, holiday, la good. Last, last birthday. Last birthday, uh-huh. Good. So those are time expressions, and you can use last. Last day. Last day is yesterday. Okay. The last day is yesterday because it is the day that already happened. But what if we want to say the day? Um, two days, two days ago, two days ago, two days ago. Ah, then we use ago, okay? Ago. After yesterday. <laughs> After yesterday, it is today. After yesterday is today. So if we say yesterday, okay. To say anteayer, okay? The day before yesterday. Yesterday. Okay? The day before yesterday. But, for example, if we want to say something that didn't happen from that day until now, then it means that I'm going to use a go, okay? So, for example, a year ago, okay? A year ago. For example, I gave my account information a year ago. Good? Good? Yes, teacher. Okay, then. Teacher, and we can, excuse me. Yes, tell me. Teacher, how we can use um, these phrases on Friday at night, in the afternoon, in the morning, using the expression in past? In past. Here you have, here you have one example. He called yesterday at night. He called yesterday uh, at night. You can use it in a complimentary um, okay. way. Okay. You can use it yeah. also. You can use it also when you are speaking during the same day that the thing happened. For example, I can okay. tell you. I can tell you when did the customer call? Oh, he called in the morning. But right now okay. it is the afternoon. Okay, or right yeah. now it is at night. So I can 
talk about, I mean, I can't okay. use in the morning because it already uh, passed. Okay. Okay. Teacher. The morning finished. Okay. Okay. So if you were talking in the same day, then you can use this. We can okay. say, for example, where where did you go to have breakfast? Yes, that's a very good question. Where did you go where, to have oh, breakfast? Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Today, yes. Yeah, today. Even though it is a past question, uh, maybe it's lunchtime and you were talking about the breakfast. Yes, you can use it. Mm -hmm. Correct. Any other question? Teacher, mm -hmm. a year ago, it's similar to uh, last year. It's similar. It's similar. But the idea is that that thing didn't happen during that year. The last time was a year ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last year means that uh, could be understood that maybe the whole year they were doing something. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okay, then do you have any other question about the this expressions? Are we okay? I'm going to erase this. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, I erased it. And let me go to the manual, okay? Let's go back to the manual and let's complete the activity here. It says, write the sentences with the words provided using past of be or simple past. Let me share the screen, okay? Let me share the screen for you. And in this case, you are going to do it by yourselves, okay? There you are. Okay, here we are. Write the sentences with the words provided using past of be or simple past. They are giving you these wo uh, words and you have to write questions or sentences. In this case, no questions, sentences. Okay, what do you think is number one? Anyone? Ideas? I was. It was. Uh huh. I was. Good. I was. I was interested. Interest. Interesting. Oh. Brothers. Brothers. 
I have two verbs in past. I was interested. Okay, yes, but the mean, um, the main verb here is was, okay? The main verb, well, the main verb is interested, but we use was to help interested to express my, my wish, okay? So we say, I was interested in the product. Is a compound. It's a compound verb, okay? Verbo compuesto aquí. Más adelante, ustedes van a ver esa forma gramatical, pero ahorita lo que quiero que vean o lo que, que eh, se pretende que vean es el uso del to be en pasado y un verbo irregular, ¿ok? Let's continue. Number two. Do well. Do well. Do well by. Past tense, past tense. You were buying. You both. Uh -huh. You both. The. The item December. The item. December. On December. Okay. On, on December. Okay. Number three. She read the police. She read the police. The policies, okay? Policies. Poli policies. Policies. Mm -hmm. Policies. Number four. <laughs> The supervisor gave me a, Super, a, a discount. Okay. But uh, the very same past teacher. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, it was a typo. Don't worry. Okay. It was a hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like blues clues. The supervisor gave me. A discount. Okay. Number five. They sent they the contract. Send. My mail. My mail. They sent. They sent. The contract, mm -hmm. my email. To my email, okay? To my email, yes. To my email. What do you think about number six? She was disappointed. Uh -huh. He 
was, was disappointed. 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 Okay, this is the activity number five. We uh, completed it. So right now I'm going to erase all this. Just let me also check who's the one who's gonna stay with me in the assessment today. Carla Marielos. Present teacher. Okay, today is your turn. Today is your turn. Just let me just let me finish. Just let me finish this class with the pronunciation of the verbs in past tense. The regular verbs have these uh, very confusing part is the pronunciation. I will send you a video through the, uh, or a link for watching a video for you to um, practice more the pronunciations. But just let me, let me show you this, okay? The ending of They <laughs> very nice, huh? <laughs> it okay, it. But there are some some verbs that they uh, finish with an explosive letter, like K or ch, right? Or um, sh. Okay, these sounds at the end of a verb like watch, okay? Watch, if you see it ends with the letter CH at the end. Watch, everybody, I want you to say this verb, watch, watch, watch. 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 Is that explosive? Watch, 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 watch. watch. Okay. watch. watch. Now let's pronounce this in the past tense. We have to make a little longer T at the end, okay? Watched, okay? Watched, 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 watched. Like if you do at the end, okay? <laughs> yeah, watched, watched. Okay, watch. Good. Now let's think about wash. 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 Okay. Wash. Now in past tense, it will be washed. Wash. 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 So it is washed. Wash. 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 It has to end like a letter T. Wash. <laughs> okay. Wash. wash. Okay. Wash. Mm -hmm. But for example, if the verb what? ends um, like um, with a letter T, uh, yeah, T at the end, or well, with the letter T, let's think about the letter T. For example, transport, transport. Transport. transport and transport. yes in the in the past tense it will be transported transported transported, transported. 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 it sounds transported. ed ed the transported 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 okay and for example if it ends in letter Y. I am sorry. 
Maybe it ends in the letter Y. And we changed it. And we change it like study, okay? It ends in the letter Y. Study, okay? What is the past tense of study? Study. study. Okay, we change letter Y into I, okay? Study it, study it. Study it. Study it. Study it. Study it. So here we have to be careful. I will send the material and you please watch the video and practice and practice because there are different pronunciations for different ending of every verb, okay? So let's prepare to continue with this topic for tomorrow. And remember, please, do your homework, okay? Do your homework, it's very important. There are some of you that haven't done the midterm test. Hay varios de ustedes que no me hicieron el, el, el examen intermedio. intermedio, okay? Necesito, por favor, que todos, todos lo realicen. Todo esto tiene que estar exactamente al final de la clase que dice esa sección, por ejemplo, sección 2 dice midterm test, quiere decir que finalizamos la clase 10, usted su, eh, eh, remite la eh, el, el examen, ok, usted completa el examen, el examen tenía cinco partes, ¿verdad? Es largo, pero es prácticamente eh, una repetición, ¿verdad? De todas las otras tareas. Así que yo creo que no había excusa para que no me lo hicieran. Necesito, por favor, todavía les daremos el chance este día para que quede eso realizado, ¿ok? Y eso se realiza en, en la plataforma. En la plataforma, sí, sí, okay. así es. No puede, en, teacher, no puede ser mañana eh, que se pueda complementar, no. Uh, nos arriesgamos, Walter, nos arriesgamos no. porque lo mejor es que esté antes de las ocho, ahí, ¿verdad? No, lo mejor okay. es que esté antes de las ocho, siempre, cada viernes, finalizada hasta la última tarea que corresponde a ese viernes, ¿ok? Yo por lo menos solo debo la tarea de ayer, que es la número diez. Y después de eso me imagino que viene el examen. Que ok, el ajá, exacto. Termina la tarea 10, viene el examen. Exactamente va a ser lo mismo en la sección 4. En la sección 4 finalizamos la última clase de la sección 4 y ustedes tienen que también remitir, el eh, completar el examen final. Ok, acuérdense sí, sí. que depende de ahí su calificación y el pase. ¿Verdad? Porque ahorita ya les están enviando incluso para apartarles el cupo, ¿Verdad? Ya les enviaron la, ajá, ya les enviaron la documentación para guardarles el cupo, pero todo depende de cuál calificación aparezca, ¿Verdad? Ok. Entonces, por favor, acuérdense que se toma en cuenta la asistencia, se toma en cuenta eh, la nota de cada tarea y la nota del examen final. Todo eso compone su calificación total o final, ¿verdad? Bueno, solo déjenme, perdón, un minutito que nos hemos pasado, pero vamos a tomar, por favor, la asistencia en este momento. Angeli Magali Coronado, perdón. Este, solo son en la plataforma, no sé si es, creo que se alcanza a ver, creo que es esta, ¿verdad? Ah, pero no sé, no se va a alcanzar a ver. Sí, sí, sí la vimos. vimos. Sí, sí la vimos, exactamente ahí. Ah, ahí, okay. ahí dice midterm test, entonces ustedes le dan clic y empiezan parte 1 y se contesta exactamente igual como se contestan las tareas, ok, eso okay. es lo único que no podemos hacer aquí, pero podemos hacer las tareas en cualquier momento, ok, y entre más ustedes, digamos que ahorita sacaron un puntaje que no llegaron a los 20 puntos de la tarea, entonces vienen y pueden hacerla nuevamente, Pueden hacerla las veces que ustedes deseen a modo de mejorar su conocimiento y mejorar su eh, rendimiento, ¿verdad? Bien, déjenme tomar ahorita la... ¿Alguna otra pregunta antes de pasar a la, a la lista? No, teacher. Ok. Vamos a ver. 
Angeli Magali Coronado Díaz. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay, then class dismissed and see you tomorrow. Have a good you. night, everyone. Good night, bye. Everyone. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good okay. night. Bye bye. 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 Carla, bye. Okay. Bye. Carla, it's your turn today. Carla Marielos, are you there? Teacher. Uh huh. Just one moment because mm -hmm. we have Faust and Angeli there. Teacher. Yes, tell me. A mí me había quedado una duda de lo de cómo ocupar may y mine. Okay, okay. Permíteme un momentito porque Fausto todavía okay. está ahí en la línea. Espera, espera. Per, perdón, permítame. Fausto, are you there? Oh, thank you, Fausto. Ok, Carlita. Here we are. Ok, you were asking about may and might. Why, why do you have that dot? No problem, no problem. De May y May, como uh -huh. los dos se utilizan, los dos quieren decir casi exactamente lo mismo, ¿verdad? Sí, es muy parecido. It's very uh -huh. similar. It's very similar. But the difference between May and May is that May is more used as um, asking for permission asking for permission, something that you are able to do, but in a permission of doing it. Mm, let me share again this. Let me get there because I had this problem here, here. You see, here we have some examples, some examples how to use might. Might is the most common way to ask for, for a possibility or for a probability in the American English, okay? In the American English, we use might uh, mostly for everything, okay? Mostly for everything, but we use may in a very formal way, in a very formal and polite way. For example, if you are calling to a, a company, then you usually are going to use may, okay? Instead of might. But in a warm conversation, you are going to use might. But both express possibility and probability, but permission is for may. Let's see here. Uh, for example, 
Number one, it says, it looks like we might made a mistake. It looks like, like we might made a mistake. It's a probability, okay? It's a probability that the mistake was our fault, okay? They are not saying that there is no mistake. They are saying and accepting that there is a mistake, but might give us the probability to uh, take off the responsibility, okay? So might is a probability. And uh, in this case, for example, this might be the most difficult decision she would ever make. This might be the most difficult decision she would ever make. What do you think about that? It's a possibility, right? It's a possibility. Why? Because maybe, maybe she had more decisions to make. It's not only one or many difficult decisions. Okay, many difficult decisions. So this decision that she has to make, uh, then might be, might be. This is more common, okay? This might be the most difficult decision and it is more certain, es más cierto, okay? Might es como más acertado, okay? Como más acertado. May queda como un poquito más en, el, en lo no cierto, okay? Puede ser y no puede ser. But might es podría ser, okay? There you go. Como más posibilidad. More possibility, kind of. In some situations, yes. But I think that will be helpful to understand if it is more possible or if less possible. Okay, less possible may, might more possible. Okay, so let's see. They suggest other products a customer might be interested in. Okay. But in American English, they use might almost for everything instead of may. May es menos utilizado en el inglés americano para este tipo de, de expresiones, okay? Um, they use more might, okay? They use more might. But for permission, for permission, it's they expressions for excellence here. For example, this one, may I have a seat? May I have a seat? They are asking for permission to take a seat, okay? May I have a seat? Le está pidiendo el permiso de sentarse, verdad? Okay, now this one, you may go home. You may go home. For example, you ask to your boss, uh, listen, Mr. Manager, uh, may I go home early today? Oh, yes, you may go home. Okay, you may go home. He is giving. Ahí, ahí, ahí me, está, me está preguntando que, o oh, estoy diciendo, podría ir a, a, a la casa. Sí, pero que a le tu, están dando ah. el permiso para irse a su casa. Okay. Okay. Pero no, en, no usamos might para ese per, permiso. Okay. Para ese permiso usamos may. Okay. For, uh, repitamos. Okay. Repitamos el caso. El caso es que usted le pide permiso de irse temprano. Okay. Del trabajo. May I go home early because I feel not good, no well. So the uh, Mr. Manager is going to say, you may go home. You may go home giving you the permission. May is for request the permission or giving permission, okay? okay. Might, might is for certain probabilities, okay? Okay. Uh, Carla, yo envié unos, unos videos al grupo. I don't know if you received them. Did you watch the videos? Uno, bueno, sí lo, sí lo vi, pero no, 
a entrar iba, pero después me decía que no los podía ver directamente de, de ahí, no sé por qué, ah, pero okay. lo, lo, voy a, lo voy a ver. Ok, sí, porque ahí explica... Vi que envió dos. ¿Mm? Ajá, vi que envió, creo que dos envió. Exactly, uh -huh, exactly. And I'm going to send some exercises for you, okay? I'm going to send some exercises to the group for everybody to, to um, reinforce this, for drilling this thing, okay? ¿Cómo siente? How do you feel? Is it okay, the explanation? Sucks. <laughs> Pero Only with practice. You are going a, to master a... this with practice, okay? Yeah. Yes, you have to practice. Now, okay, um, is there any other question I can answer? Yo creo que ahorita no, teacher. Tenía dudas con el, con el can y el could, pero ya lo estuvo aplicando y sí, ya me quedó más claro. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. uh, may and might is similar to can and could. Ok. May uh -huh. with can, can and might with could. Ok. Pero, ajá, pero de can y, y could no sé por qué pero se me hizo más fácil como como diferenciarlo okay, y el okay. cambio con el may y el my siento que ajá como que me cuesta más identificar para qué se ocupa uno y para qué o sea o como para qué diferenciar lo que sucede es que no es muy común a nuestro nivel en que estamos de inglés ahorita, no es como muy común en nuestro vocabulario, lo estamos ahorita introduciendo en nuestro vocabulario, pero a medida que practique, Carlita va a irlo comprendiendo mejor y va a ir entendiendo por dónde meterlo y eso, pero por el momento sepa que eh, may and might is for request information and for uh, asking and giving permission. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, good. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure and no problem. And let's uh, see you tomorrow, ok? Ok, teacher. Have a good see night. You ok. Good night, teacher. Bye, Carla. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.